Hey guys, this is Maliha, and in today's video, I want to show you how to use a tool called Placeit by Envato. So, Placeit allows you to design beautiful graphics using templates, and if that sounds like Canva to you, then you're not totally off. It's similar in the sense that it has a huge library of templates that you can use to create beautiful social media graphics, website graphics, and um, banners, email graphics, etc. So in that sense, it's similar. However, Canva is more complex. And um, when I say complex, I mean that it allows you to design things from scratch. It allows you to create completely unique things. But place it is simple in that sense that you just have templates. You don't have the capability to design things from completely scratch. So um, because you can only manipulate templates, it's simple. The interface is a lot simpler and cleaner than Canva because it doesn't have some of the complex features of Canva. So if you're someone who doesn't have the need to create complex designs, unique designs, then place it can be an alternative to Canva for you. However, this video is not about place its templates. It's about a different feature that Canva doesn't yet have, or at least not in the sense that place it has. This feature is the mockups feature. So you can create digital mockups using place it. What is a mockup? If you're not familiar with mockups, mockups are basically used to give people a feel for what a digital design may look like out in the world in real life. So to give you an example, here's one mockup. So this is what you're looking at is my website. I have a Canva template shop where I actually design templates um, templates for ebooks, workbooks, social media graphics from scratch without using Canva's native templates. These are also Canva templates, but I sell them to buyers who want something that's more unique. So these are some of the can. This is one of the Canva templates that I sell. It's a minimalist pricing guide in Canva. And what you're looking at this photo here. This is a mock-up. It looks like. I pulled up my pricing guide on an iPad Pro in a coffee shop maybe because it looks like that iPad is sitting on top of a table. There's also um, coffee cups. So it looks like someone is using the pricing guide in real life, even though it's not. It's a mock-up. It gives the appearance that um, a digital product is being used in real life, even though it's not. And that's a mock-up. Mock-ups help potential buyers look at a digital product and kind of get an idea for what that product might look like out in the world. And it's useful for people who sell digital products because it kind of enhances the um, not only the aesthetics, but also the usability. Like people can actually see how a product might be used in real life and that increases the appeal of a digital product to the buyers or potential buyers. So this mock-up that you're seeing, it was actually created with Photoshop. And Photoshop is cool, but creating a mock-up from scratch with Photoshop is extremely difficult. And even though I have some Photoshop know-how, I don't have enough know-how to create these from scratch. So what I do is I actually purchase Photoshop templates, mock-up templates. And the only caveat is that these can get very expensive very fast. Because these Photoshop mock-up templates, like one such template is easily less than $10, $15 or more. So that's where the Placeit mock-up feature comes in because Placeit has a mock-up feature where you can create something similar to what I had done without the need for using Photoshop. So for example, if I go back to Placeit, placeit.net, 
And if I hover over mockup, you'll see that there are a lot of different types of mockups available. Apparel mockups, like if you hover over apparels, you will see like face masks, hats, hoodies, leggings, sports bras, sportswear, sweatshirts, etc., etc. Digital mockups, like device mockups, like MacBooks, iMacs, iPad mockups, etc. Print, like books, business cards, magazines, print on demand promotional etc etc so they have a lot of different mockups and i really love that because canva currently doesn't have a mockup tool that's as versatile as place it they do have something um similar it's smart mockups but smart mockups um first of all smart mockups within canva has some very um specific limitations and if you go to smartmockups.com, their website, they are a lot more expensive than Placeit, even though the features are very similar. And Placeit even has like video mockups that Smart Mockups doesn't offer at the time of recording this video. So there's that. So that's why um, I think that Placeit is a really great alternative to um, Canva users, depending on what what you use Canva for. If you like designing things from scratch, then I, sh I would say go with Canva. But if you don't use things from scratch, if you're just using templates, then place it can be an alternative to Canva for you if you so choose to. So you can like play around with both platforms and see which one you like and, you know, go from there. But as I was saying, I'm going to show you how to use mockups in this video because that's the tool that I personally really enjoyed using with Placeit. So since I personally create Canva templates for, let's say, um, eBooks, magazines, and you know, document type stuff, that's what I'm gonna show you how to create. And if you know how to do one mockup or how to use one mockup template within Placeit, then you should be able to use any other mockup. So for example, they have t-shirt mockups, um, like I was showing you, um, magazines or t-shirts, mugs, etc., etc. One use I do want to mention before I get to the tutorial is that if you're someone who has like a drop shipping business, for example, if you have, um, if you sell your designs, maybe you make designs, you make designs using Canva, and then you create like print on demand things using Printify or Printful, basically drop shipping business, um, then you you should definitely look at Placeit and, you know, see if you like it because Placeit has so many mockups like t-shirt mockups. Let's see. Um, if you go to apparel, t-shirts, they have tons of t-shirt mockups and it's a great way to promote your drop shipping business because you can just you know plug in pl plug your designs in any of these mockups and create beautiful graphics that you can use to promote your products on social media on your website or wherever you promote your stuff so yeah it's i think it's a great tool for uh business owners that does you know uh that do uh who do drop shipping so definitely check it out you have like t-shirts um tote bags uh hats, mugs, all kinds of stuff. So it's great for that kind of uh, businesses. So anyway, like I was saying, um, I sell a lot of document type templates. So let's look at one such thing. I can go to mockups, print, magazine, but if you know exactly what you're looking for, then um, you can use the search feature to the search bar over here. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to look for an A4 magazine mock-up and there you go there are a bunch of magazine mock-ups and I uh, let's see let's pick something that's simple but that also has enough capabilities so I can show you exactly how to use the mock-up templates on uh, place it so I kind of like this one so I'm going to choose this one by clicking it and place it is um, like Canva it's a browser based online uh, tool so everything happens within your browser you don't have to like download any program on your computer or anything and just like Canva it also has a subscription system and I'm going to show you the pricing and everything in a minute here 
but first I want to look at, I want to show you how to actually customize a mockup. And it's simple. Let me show you how. So this is the mockup. Basically, your images are going to look at, are going to be placed where you see upload your image. So this is an A4 magazine mockup, and I have already downloaded uh, one of my A4 designs on my computer. So I'm going to click um, upload left design. So the first thing you should do if, you, if you're using PlayStation is just look at all the available options that are out there. As you can see over here, I have like text right here, um, insert image, left image, right, uh, right design, left design, and then magazine color, add graphics, background color, gradient background. And that's it. It's super simple. So I'm just going to click upload left design insert image upload from your device and i know because i have already uh, downloaded it i know that this is going to be the left design and then you just have to like um because i think 100 percent was slightly off so 102 percent looks better there you go so just play around with it a little bit until it looks as you want it to look. And then I'm going to insert image for the right design, upload from your device. And this is going to be the right hand spread. Once again, um, I'm just going to make it 102%. Click crop and boom, there you go. That's it. That's all it took. Now, I'm going to also change the background because the yellow color is kind of clashing with my um, kind of neutral color template. So I'm going to make it. So I, I was playing around. So as you can see, it's showing me all the colors that I have been playing around with recently. But I want to show you if you're using it for the first time, go to custom. You can also go to like default is the one that you already have. You can go to swatches. Or you can go to custom, that way you can like be very specific about the color you want. So if you want, if you know the hex code of the background color you want, you can just type it here. If not, you can just choose with your mouse what you want. You can use the slider to choose the main color. And then you can use your mouse to kind of drag um, over this color swatch panel and then choose the color you want. Let's say that I want this color. I'm going to click choose that replaces the yellow with this color and it's looking great. Um, I also want to add some text by clicking add text and I'm going to add, you can change the add over here, if you follow my mouse, I'm going to add A4 magazine Canva template and then I will use my mouse to drag it to the bottom so that it's not sitting on top of the magazine picture and move it around until it looks good enough and I also want to change the background color I can also change the text color but I kind of like the white text you can change the text color by clicking here same way you can choose like the custom color swatches and click anything from there but um, I'm not going to change that. I kind of like the white default color, so I'm going to leave it at that. But I do want to change the background. I don't like the black background, so I'm going to click the three dots over here. And as you can see, um, it allows me to choose a highlight color. And I can see the color, the background color that I recently chose now is showing up under recent tab. So I'll just choose that and boom. Oh, one thing other I want to do is I don't want text highlight, maybe. What does even highlight do? Not sure. Oh, highlight makes it slightly darker. So yeah, I don't want the highlight. So I'm going to get rid of the highlight and it looks much better. I also want to change the text. So uh, the font, sorry, not the text, the font. I am going to choose this one, maybe. Yeah, it looks better, I think. All right, so that's it. I have, you know, um, my mock-up. And it was really easy. Like, it didn't even take, like, a minute or maybe a little more than a minute. I don't know. 
But yeah, it's as simple as that. You can even choose like gradient background from here if you want to, like something like this, for example. No, it's too much. I don't like it. Um, let's see. Something like this. Maybe not. Nah, I, I like it without that. No image, no gradient. So I'm going to choose no image that will get rid of the gradient. And I just have a solid color and I like it a lot better. And that's it. That's how you have a open magazine mock-up. It looks like someone um, set a actual printed magazine spread on top of a surface and took a picture of it, even though it's not. That's not it. It's just a mock-up, and that's it. You can also add like extra graphics, for example, your logo or something if you want to. But I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, feel free to play around and. Here's the cool thing. You don't actually even have to have like a, an account to play around. Like you can use it. The only time you have to create an account is if you're planning on downloading the design. Like I have an account because I created it earlier uh, because I wanted to be able to see, you know, all the things that are available to me. But you don't have to have an account just to play around with it. You know, just see if you like it. Play around with it. See if you like it. If you don't like it. You don't have to create an account, but if you like it, then, you know, it's a pretty awesome tool. And if you have a drop shipping business or if you sell templates like I do, um, this is an alternative to Photoshop for using or for designing or creating your mockups for your digital products um, or your drop shipping products like mugs and uh, t-shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. Anyway, so once you're happy with your design, as you can see, it has a watermark, but the watermark will be gone when you download the design. So if you click the download button, boom, it gives you the option to either purchase this one-time design and that's $7.95. If you're creating something that you're, you know, you're only going to use it once and you don't really need to create a lot of mock-ups, maybe you consider that but if you're someone who creates a lot of mock-ups maybe you have a template business like I do or if, if, if you have a drop shipping business and you create like multiple designs every single month then you may consider signing up for their annual um, subscription which comes down to 747 per month only right if you subscribe for a monthly subscription, that's a little more expensive, $14.95. But if you sign up for the annual subscription, it comes down to only $7.47. And that's cheaper than Canva. And that's cheaper than the other mock-up tool that I was talking to you about. I was telling you about Smart Mock-ups. Smart Mock-ups, I believe, is um, if you sign up for their annual subscription, that's like $9 per month. But place it is only $7.47. So, you know, that's an alternative to smart mock-ups if you think about it and um, something to consider and I I would say that I personally played around with place it um, in the last few days and I really enjoyed it so I definitely recommend it to anyone who just wants to play around and see what other options are out there anyway so to be able to download a design you have to sign up for a subscription um, so I highly recommend it if you are someone who uses a lot of mock-ups it's worth it so yeah, I'm not going to sign up for it right now. I don't really need to. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. But if you're downloading your design, you have to sign up for um, a subscription plan, just FYI. And that's it. That's how you use Placeit mockups. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope, you know, that gives you another alternative to Canva or smart mockups if you're looking for one. And there you go. That's it. Um, hope you learned something and I will see you later. Bye!